I'm doing a quick video on my RO Buddy. Well, there it is. Reverse osmosis. As I, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've been struggling with my nitrate levels. Once I ended up testing my tap water, it turned out that my tap water had crazy amounts of nitrates in there. And not only that, um, the water, the TDS went from to like 250, maybe the highest was 300, to all the way 857. Um, my w water pressure here in the city is supposed to be at 40, but it's not. So I ended up having to get one of these little permeate pumps, I think they're called, um, just to get a little bit more water. Actually, I got a lot more water once I installed that thing. Other than that little clicking, which you'll see right now when the water pressure gets low, this thing's awesome. I pretty much, before it would take me like two days to do like 75 gallons. Now I can do, you know, 75 gallons probably like in maybe 20 hours, 24 hours. Um, but as you can see, it clicks a little bit. But um, yeah, I did a crazy little rig job. Um, basically, it comes all the way around. I'm gonna go kind of fast because I don't want to show off my dirty house too much. I kind of wrapped it around there on top of my dryer, my utility room. And it comes here into my garage. And I have this little triple. And um, depending on how the water pressure is coming out, this thing you know, usually comes out at that rate, which I don't think it's bad. But inside of here, let me see, I use equilibrium to kind of remineralize my water. You can kind of see it at the bottom. Usually I'll run that pump right there just to kind of spread it out a little bit. But um, that RO Buddy thing pretty much strips my water from, like I said, the highest was 850 something to like pretty much seven was the, lo actually the lowest I seen it was at three, which for 70 bucks, that's ridiculous. Anyways, right here I have a whole bunch of equilibrium from my last water change. I leave it in there just to kind of get a little bit hard because my guppies and my patties love hard water. But as you can see at the bottom, I still have a lot of that powder. But let's go ahead and test the TDS. So I'm going to be using this bad boy. Let's get this guy on. Don't drop it inside the water. Let's put it right there. I can't really see. Let's see what it is. Let's do a hold. And we are at, wow, 23. Huh, that's actually really good. Let me, let me try this again. I, I have a whole bunch of minerals in there. I seriously doubt it would come out at 23. Let's try it again. Twenty-one. Okay, let's do two out of three. That's really good. Let's oops. Come on. Alright, we go turn it on. Let's try it again. Oh wow. So I guess my TDS is at 20. Okay, well, that's impressed even me. So as you can see, um, steady little stream going. Um, usually I let it get up to like right around right there because then it kind of leaks right there. Then I get my pump going and I let it circulate for another day just to get the minerals going. And then what I do is, like, I don't know if I said this before, but I keep all my tanks and my fit, all my fish tanks in my garage. So I come over here and pretty much I change my water, but now I'm kind of curious to see what the TDS is on this one. So same TDS meter on. Let's see what happens. Get it to right there. I can't see. I'm gonna do hold. Let's see. 382, huh? Not bad. This fish tank, my poor clown lotion got up to like 500 once before I realized that my tap water was destroying my fish. Um, lost a couple of fish at Grammy, but. Man, my clown loaches, they kicked butt. They're, they handled it. As you can see, they're fat and pretty um, active. Um, let's do another, let's test it again. Uh, let's see. Okay, still around the same. I keep driftwood in there, so in case people are wondering, driftwood, when it starts breaking down, it does, it releases some organics into your water, so it will you'll have a higher TDS reading. But let's go back to over here 
And well, here's my here's my other tanks. These guys are doing awesome. But let's go to outside to my front to my tap water. No judging. I kind of have a mess. Haven't had a chance to kind of mow my lawn and clean up yet because I love messing with my fish tanks. Let's get this bad boy going. Let's drain some of the water that's in the water hose. Yeah, I need to mow this. All right. Let's get it. Let's get the TDS meter out. So as you can see, there's the water, the TDS. Let's turn it on. And like I said, the highest I've had this is, let me turn this off over here. The highest I've had the tap water come out at has been 800 and I think 57. Oops, turn it on. Let's see what this comes out on. Uh, I can't do it. Let's see. Let's get it there. There you go. What's that? 668. See? Super high TDS. Here, I'll dump this water out. And I'll let... And I'll let it run a little bit just so that... I know I have some naysayers out there that... Will tell me that. Okay. Oops. Some water in here. And the TDS level is. Oh, well, it would help if I turned it on. This thing's at zero. Alright, let's do this. Huh, it actually got higher. So, for all my naysayers out there that say that there's no way that water in California can come out that high, there it is. And I've been calling, and I'll probably do another, another video where I'm actually showing that the water that's coming out is super high nitrates out of the tap. And we'll see, but for now, I mean, this takes forever but it works anyways let me know if you have any questions and hopefully this video wasn't too boring thanks for watching